We're currently in my guest bedroom. This was the game collection. You remember how nice this used to look? This was, it was gorgeous. I had everything all displayed nice. It's all retro video games back from the 80s and 90s and early 2000s. And now it looks like this. Moving boxes, a whole bunch of other stuff going on here. You guys get to figure out what the cause of this is next video. So sort of big announcement going on uh, with that. And no, I'm definitely not selling the collection. Number two, we have a winner for the Colorado ZR2 giveaway. So that giveaway not only is over, but we officially have a winner and I cannot wait to tell you guys who that is. I was kind of torn though. It's like, do I announce it on YouTube just like this in a video and not get the reaction? Do I live stream it? That would be so cool because then you guys get to like tune in and actually witness the entire process, the phone call. Uh, hopefully they pick up whoever it is. But unfortunately there's just a little too, too much going on there. Too much personal information shared. God only knows what else could happen. So I'm not going to do a live stream, even though that would be my preferred way. But if you guys want to know how we're going to announce this, check out my Instagram. There should be a post up there already. Look for like the most recent picture of the Colorado ZR2, and that will give you a time and a date that we are going to be calling. So you can get by your phones and look like a psychopath on your lunch break, just like waiting by your phone for it to ring. And then you know what? It rings and you win my Colorado ZR2 and get to whip that to work the very next week. If I have a picture of the ZR2 that's posted on Instagram, this is the one to look for to make sure you have all the dates right and can be by your phones. Number three, we're on number three now. You guys got to look out for your grandparents and parents. It's ridiculous how much they get taken advantage of because they don't, not that they don't know any better, but the world's so chaotic. They just assume that like, hey, this is the way that things go. My grandfather, a snowbird from Florida, he's up here for the summertime, told me how much he spent on a battery replacement for his 2017 Hyundai Santa Fe. $523. I could not believe it. So I was like, let me price compare with one of the places up here. So check this out. Hello, sir. I'm looking for a uh, replacement battery for my 2017 Hyundai Santa Fe. It's all wheel drive. Gotcha. All right, sir. I'll uh, I'll let you know. All right. Thank you. Thank you. So two hundred fifteen dollars. That's with the core, which that means if you bring the old battery in, they give you a little bit of a discount. So literally twice the price. Yeah, really not cool. You guys got to look out for any of you watching here. I don't know if your parents or if your kids. You need to look out for your parents or grandparents because the world would just take them for a ride nowadays. It's cutthroat. Not too much respect anymore. All right, are we done. We gave clues to the next video and how there's going to be a big announcement. The winner of the ZR2 that will be announced here shortly as well. And my grandfather got absolutely ripped off on a battery. We're going to see if we can rectify that. Now for the new to the channel you have no clue what we're talking about but here's something you can be familiar with truck montage let's get it quick pit stop. Do you guys remember this? How about now? This is the location where uh, the accident happened back six months ago. I just saved that woman that ran into the pole here. I'm just passing through. And after going back and watching the footage, it's kind of bizarre because I just realized they sort of left the scene of an accident. This fence is still messed up, like destroyed. It's the same exact way that it was left that day. They never ever fixed the fence. So sort of just left the scene of an accident. Not cool. Anyway, off to click Lewis. Quick commercial time. We had some people break into the shop. Don't do that. That's a no-no. Zero one giveaway is still going on, but just for a limited amount of time. My products on my tab have been selling out like crazy. So I don't even know if the stuff I'm showcasing here is even in stock. Like this top dad shirt, I don't even want to take it out of the bag because that's how low of stock we have. I don't even want to take the sample shirt. So if you guys want any of these for Father's Day and any opportunity to win this sick zero one plus ten thousand dollars cash. Do it now, first link down in the description. We got a bunch of new products on the tab. Like my favorite, these little chicken, fried chicken wing keychains. Some of the classic stickers that I've had for a while now, but these are awesome. My hats, there's like 10 of these left. So if they're still on the website, there's probably like one left by now. Make sure you get it. My sister's brand new hat. This has her bulldog on it, her French bulldog. And these are also in super limited supply. So if you want any of these, First link down in the description, entry multiplier, and gets you a chance to win Street Speed 717's famous Corvette ZR1. Check out this cool piece of machinery chilling in the showroom. This is a Rocky Ridge Chevy Silverado. And on the inside here, like this is just a plain Jane looking Silverado, a little beefed up, but the interior is awesome. I get it, might be a little corny to some, 
But imagine just like stepping into your buddy's Silverado, not expecting anything special. And then you got this type of interior, a little bit of a wood grain accents there. This is all blacked out. Of course, you have the automatic steps, sick little Rocky Ridge logo, and they put it everywhere on the brake calipers, the wheels. I mean, it's just decked out. So really cool. Uh, it even has rock lighting, which I guess goes along with the theme here, but that's pretty cool. That comes sort of factory on this brand new truck and a bunch of other different little stuff here, like louvers or a vent inside of the wheel well. Um, just some cool stuff that don't really necessarily have useful features, but they look cool. And again, more Rocky Ridge logos, sort of looks like a Spartan helmet uh, from the front. Um, but yeah, I'm digging out like this essentially all blacked out Silverado. And for a price tag of only $60,000 is pretty insane. This thing's not as capable as the Silverado ZR2, but it's really cool that it has all these bonuses for essentially $14,000 cheaper. Uh, yeah, this is an RTS Silverado. I don't really know what that means. I think it comes with a rear locker on the back. I think that's that's all it comes with. That's special. Yeah, Rocky Ridge Silverado hanging out in the showroom here. Made it to Click Lewis here right outside of Hershey. We're in Palmyra. I don't see any on the lot. I just talked to one of the salesmen. He said he's gonna run in and check. His name's Ian. He's super cool. Very accommodating here, which is a little strange at car dealerships, not to give them a bad rap, but from what I've experienced, it's like, let's get a sale today. We're not trying to help you out. We don't care if you're making a video, whatever, which I understand that you're running a business, of course. Uh, but these guys, it just seems like they're totally cool to this whole YouTube thing. And that's very refreshing. What we do have is some full-size Silverados. These are specced a little, uh, modestly, there's nothing too special about these. This one has a cool little Chevy exhaust tip. No clue who makes that, if it's a Chevy or an aftermarket. I know they work with like Borla and stuff like that. Black Widow RST Silverado here. This comes with a factory lift kit. And what's great is, is you retain the factory warranty with these lift kits because they're like Chevy approved. Uh, but this is really cool. Really good ride height on this. And uh, you can fit stock 35s, unlike the Silverado ZR2. Blows my mind how they do collaborations with Black Widow, but for their flagship off-roader, you don't get any of these lift kits or tire clearance and none of the pluses. It's so bizarre, uh, but I, you get that front and rear locker. So I guess that's all that matters. And I just want to see the price of these. So my Silverado ZR2, this is a Duramax on 1500. I've heard of these. That's pretty damn cool. Imagine getting a 1500 Duramax and I'm wondering if this is a V8. I'm gonna go with no. So I don't know if you can see that there. $63,584 for 2023 Silverado 1500 Crew RST. And obviously you have four wheel drive. Even though I own a Silverado, I'm not super educated on some of the lower levels, even though these are very, very nice trucks. So they just told me that they don't have any in stock yet. They have a Trail Boss coming though next week which is pretty sweet. Uh, so we're gonna take a look at that once that happens. We're now at Turner Chevy here and they do have two in stock. They had three and they did have a trail boss, uh, but it's gone. Oh my God, these LTs, man, this is crazy how much they look like Tacomas. That's bizarre. Wow, that is crazy. Uh, I don't know if this is a four-wheel drive. It's all black. This just got delivered. So they're gonna wash it up for us. Obviously like Turner, no, they're not gonna sell a dirty vehicle like this. This just got off. Like you can see where it was strapped down, where they have like the protection on the doors. But yeah, very, very cool. And this one's only $34,000. All right, this is a lot better. A lot more what I'm talking about. So this is very cool. We got to set up with a view of the city over here of, uh, I shouldn't say beautiful, but if you're from a distance, Harrisburg doesn't look too bad. It's just one of those like Northeastern, nice, small, quiet cities until you get right into it. And here we have the brand new Chevy Colorado. I want to say ZR2 so bad, but cannot. This is the LT and it's two wheel drive. So this is about as low as you're going to get in terms of price. Maybe not options. I mean, it looks like the, like vehicles come pretty loaded from the factory. Like it's it seems like as the future goes on, the more features that just come standard with a vehicle. So 2023 Colorado two wheel drive LT crew cab. So at least we have the crew cab here, uh, cloth seats, which is what I went with with mine, uh, but mine have a little bit more character to them. Salesman, the sales manager actually just told me this just got off the truck two days ago. So they haven't had a chance to go 100% over it uh, and make sure that it's ready for sale, but they say they're going fast, which is sort of uplifting for me. I'm, I'm happy that the Colorados are catching on. Chevy gave up on them for a little bit and uh, now they're back and seem to be in full force. And what's crazy enough, it seems like they're taking these more seriously than their full-size trucks. Uh, I own a Silverado ZR2 for the newcomers to the channel, uh, but not for very long because that's gonna get traded in on a Colorado ZR2. They also have a Trail Boss coming in. Tell me this does not, let me shut the door here. Tell me this is not a Toyota Tacoma like vibe to it on the LTs. Now the ZR2s got a little bit wider hips, 
factory lift, way bigger tires, a more mean ag and aggressive looking front end. But just for the update, and whenever I say they look like Toyota Tacomas, that's not bashing them in any way. Toyota Tacomas are great looking trucks. And what's scary is, is the only really downside of a Toyota Tacoma is the fact that the technology just isn't there. The interior is not there. And this is a base model essentially. And look at all that you're getting. I mean, this is a pretty sweet center console. The shifter looks great. You have some graphics there, almost like a carbon fiber camo type look, if you want to consider that in the cup holders. Plus your huge screen here. I don't know the exact dimensions of this, but it's more than enough. It's very big for a, uh, a small truck like this. They're sticking with that same thing where they're laying the paint on thick here, almost like a bed liner textured effect that just not quite as intense. But this is to help with all those rock chips and anything else like that. Now they should have the same setup, even though it's an LT as the ZR2 underneath the cab here. And sure enough, there it is, the hookup for the rock sliders. So with any of the Colorados, obviously then you can put on rock sliders, anything like that. They're set up and ready to go with it. So this is a little bit different than my Colorado ZR2. My Colorado had a big cover here, covered up a lot of these wires and everything. The whole engine essentially with a plastic cover just to make everything look a little bit more neat and uniformed. And on this, it's more exposed. I don't know if that's just because it's an LT and it's just trying to save money because this truck is definitely a budget truck for someone. But I'm telling you, man, I, I mean, four wheel drive, like that's a requirement for me. But for someone who's living down in the South and they don't need that and just wants a good little pickup truck, 2.7 liter turbo. So it's gonna get pretty decent gas mileage. I mean, this is perfect. I don't know if these have the uh, multi-flex tailgate, but it's really nice that standard now they come with the soft open tailgate at the very least. I don't have a clue what this is. Oh, wow, look at that. It's a storage unit in the back of the tailgate. And this comes on an LT. I don't want to keep saying base model because I don't know if that's really what this is, but this is a very, uh, this is an affordable truck. But great, lots of storage down here. Um, I don't really know what I would use it for. I'm You know what I would use it for? My Yank recovery ropes, they'd fit perfectly in here. At least one of them would. No spray and bed liner, but the ZR2 that we have, and I'm pretty sure every ZR2 uh, is gonna have that option. If you don't have a spray and bed liner, fork over the cash, get it done. Even if it's at the dealership and it's a little bit more money, totally worth it. Just like how I should have sprung for the rock sliders on my Silverado ZR2 because uh, that took a lot of body damage, would have saved me money in the long run. And the reason I didn't do it is because I thought it was too expensive from the dealership. All right, let's see, uh, let's see how well this works. This is my last ditch effort. And by that, I mean, let's go to Hershey Park because I know that they have a Silverado and a Colorado there. What I didn't know is, I know this is awkward, is the fact that it is a Silverado ZR2 Bison. So, so cool. It's in the glacier blue. Pardon the fisheye look. I forgot to turn the cameras like super view off, but anyway, we fixed that later in the video. Got this two-tone tailgate. I don't really know how I feel about that. Sort of makes it look like an EV, but I guess it's pretty cool. AEV badging all over it. Uh, you have the bash plates, the rock sliders, the steel front and rear bumper, and those have your uh, recovery hookups. So this was nice, like a nice little bonus and so cool because whenever I walked up on it, I was like, oh wow, okay, they do have a Silverado ZR2 here. It's just like my truck. And then I see the Bison badging on the back. So that just was the cherry on top. So very, very cool to see this. $10,000 more about for this truck than my Silverado ZR2. Is it worth the price? Not really, but if you're gonna be aggressively off-roading a full-size truck, might as well take the leap. Uh, because you have a lot more protection on this truck to protect all the vital components. Now, onto what we're here for, the Colorado. See, this is, uh, this is badass. Trail Boss, Chevy Colorado 2023. Unfortunately, I have to do a voiceover of this again, so I, it was big stage fright. Like, I point the camera at the crowd here because it was, it was, this was a little intense trying to talk and do a YouTube video in front of so many different people uh, just at like a theme park. These clash a little bit. So looking over the truck, interior is a little bit more impressive than on what we just looked at. Obviously, that was an LT. And then uh, the wheels on this truck, not that great. They need to be a little smaller. This is a trail boss. It's supposed to be an off-road truck. But the good about this, the hood looks amazing. The grill looks amazing. The wider hips. This has a lot of the features that the ZR2 has, but the ZR2 is going to be even better. So I'm so excited. The fact that this looks this good from the factory means that once you get a lift kit on this, wheels, tires, the Baja rack, spare tire, window tint, wrap, you guys know the drill. This thing will be on another level. So I cannot wait to receive mine. As far as I know, it's being built, but the Trail Bloss looks fantastic. So Chevy really did good on this. Big ups to them, uh, but just want to show you this part. Spray and bed liner on this, storage, just like they have on the one that we looked at, the LT. Some phone chargers. I guess those just come with it for free. But yeah, this is how good the Trail Boss looks. Cannot wait for the Colorado ZR2. And these are priced extremely well. The ZR2s are obviously more, but if you want a good Colorado, and I believe these have a rear locker, jump for this truck. It's a no-brainer to get the ZR2, but if you want to just keep it a little cheap and still have fun, get the Trail Boss. This is a beautiful looking truck. This is what I have to resort to though, is going to a local theme park because they're the ones that get to the cool vehicles. They sell out of the dealership. So for right now, 
Got to film in front of all these people looking like an absolute lunatic. For right now, I'm happy with my Silverado ZR2, but cannot wait to upgrade. Look, can you guys see the haze? I know it's not really gonna be much on camera and the wind's blowing, but there is wicked forest fires going on right now in Canada. And it is just, it smells like a bonfire out here. I've been in the Midwest whenever there's forest fires going on. Uh, it's weird to see it out here in the Northeast. I'm sure a lot of you can relate right now because it's like the big thing going on. Anyway, so cool to see that the Colorado is now hitting store shelves and uh, hopefully this ZR2 gets here very, very soon. Follow me on Instagram, rfracing717. Big winter announcement happening this Saturday. So uh, make sure you hit up my Instagram to follow on all the updates for that. If you made it this far in the video, tell me where you're from down in the comments. I don't need like exact cities, but state would be pretty cool. Just want to see how far my reach is, especially for you overseas. That'd be pretty cool uh, to see how big this audience is. That's it. See you guys in the next one.